Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome to this midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So following the last week analysis videos, uh, I mentioned that this support level is gonna be respected and we can see that the EURUSD has indeed respected this level. Now we are on the daily candles. Let's go to the 4 hour charts. Now what do we see on the 4 hour chart? We can see that this candle is representing the Monday opening and we can see how it was exactly on the very same level I mentioned uh, 1.11118 uh, that is really nice and we can see that the market has made another attempt already trying to break out from this level thankfully it has failed and the market made another reversal and now it seems to be headed more up the thing I want to mention here that we have here also another support level right here like that so looking at that we can see that the market also after bouncing from this support level it went up here again this support level is being respected and still acting as a support and from my point of view this is the time that the euro usd is gonna start rising more up and hopefully it's gonna continue going all the way until it hit our take profit level on this resistance uh, level right here now what is the right thing to do actually we can go ahead and start buying the euro usd immediately right away and if we do that uh, it's not gonna it's gonna take, take long time actually i to be honest with you i don't really think it's gonna happen this week uh, the euro usd has to climb for almost 70 pips to reach this level and with this slow movement of the euro usd i believe it's gonna take some time until it finally reaches this level however this support level is still acting really strongly as a support and uh, we can see the pair has been ranging right on this level so all in all euro usd signal is still active is still good we can keep the buy order if you have opened any let's take a look at the pound usd now the pound usd however uh, did not move as i expected we can see that on monday opening unfortunately the support level here has been immediately breaking out by this bearish breakout candle what happened later is this support level has become now a resistance uh, but the thing is we are having right here a strong bullish candle breaking out from this resistance level what does that mean looking at the left we can see okay let me just move, let move this one I will move this one sorry looking at the left we can see that here we have as well a good support level right here this one here and this one here and another one right here so we have two attempts of this support level so what's going to happen next in my expectation if we also look at the left we can see uh, another support level right here and in my expectation this supports these support levels are going to be respected and they will gonna act also as a support level uh, in the future i mean because let me just get rid of this one because we can see this this break this uh, breakout bu uh, bullish candle is actually changing the whole game if i didn't see this candle here i would say that the pound usd most likely gonna keep continue going down immediately however that doesn't seem like it uh, we are having a lot of strong support levels right here and right here and right here as well and i believe the pound usd is about to start its uh, bullish reversal right away it's gonna continue going all the way up until hitting this resistance level exactly right here and then from that point is gonna be good for short and it's gonna reverse from this resistance however i have to remind everyone that after two weeks we have the deadline for uk to leave the U uh, europe and it's gonna be critical for the pound actually to be traded in this uh, in these times because you don't want to trade the pound usd uh, like that when the brexit news hit the market so what should we do with the pound usd uh, allow me to just give the signal if possible uh, let me just pick the right level before i send anything let me go to the one hour chart so i can see it clearly all right mm. I want to do the analysis right front of you but I'm afraid that's gonna take some time maybe I'm gonna okay all right I believe 
Okay, let me just save your time, my friends, and I will do some analysis uh, alone, and I will continue recording after one minute. All right. Actually, in my opinion, the pound USD can be good for the buy right away because we can see the reversal has already happened on the support level right here like that so the right way to draw the support line is like that and we can see that the market has already touched this level seems like it's reversing however we can place the buy order for the pound usd right away and we can expect the market to go a little bit more down so this previous support resistance is gonna be a new resistance trend line and then from that point what did i say support resistance okay let me rephrase that this this previous support trend line is gonna be this one here as well it, uh, it's gonna, it was uh, a support trend line it became now a resistance trend line after the breakout after the retest it might become now a new support trend line so if you place the buy order immediately for the pound usd you can expect the market to go a little bit against you just to this level fibonacci 38.2 and then from that point it's gonna hopefully continue going more up uh, we have to expect <coughs> the market to reverse on the level 61.8 of Fibonacci right here uh, it's gonna make a small bounce again retesting this broken resistance and then gonna continue flying all the way up until hit this resistance level from that point the pound USD is gonna be good for the short and it's gonna take some time uh, remember right now we are on the one hour chart and we can expect the pound DST to fly for almost 70 pips uh, until it hit that resistance line so in general uh, conclusion the pound DST is good for the buy immediately and the reason is we are seeing this support level and the market is exactly right on it right now let's take a look at the AUD USD AUD USD uh, as I mentioned is gonna reverse um, at the level of this resistance level and we can expect the market to go a little bit more up to hit this resistance and then start reversing however AUD USD is still ranging right on this previous uh, resistance we can see this resistance right here and right here and right here and the AUD USD is still ranging we didn't move up or down that much well, there was no much volatility on the AUD USD so the signal for the AUD USD is still valid we are waiting for the pair to reach this previous resistance so we can start shorting it uh, right now we cannot really do anything with the AUD USD don't buy it uh, expecting it to go up here before we start shorting because the pair right now is ranging a lot and just just uh, we, re we really want to avoid any such consolidation market uh, therefore please avoid uh, entering anything or any trade on the AUD USD it's really not advisable at all it's not, not advisable it's not advised to enter uh, at this point sorry for the mistake in the English anyway uh, AUD USD don't do anything and just wait for the pair to reach this resistance before we start shorting let's check the USD GPY all right so the USD GPY seems like uh, it started a reversal pattern and um, if I'm not mistaken I was waiting for the pound USD to reverse right on this previous resistance is gonna retest it that will be really good level to start buying the USD GPY however the pair just continued going up breaking this resistance we are still waiting for the retest to happen until now it didn't happen uh, let's go to the daily candles we can see that this was the one opening candle the break the bullish breakout candle on Monday this is Tuesday and this is right now today is Wednesday so uh, seems like the AUD the sorry the USDGPY is making a reversal pattern and I'm expecting for it to reverse exactly on this previous resistance because we are also having this support level and in my expectation this support level is gonna still be respected and keep its position as a support and from that point we can start buying the USD GPY and keep the trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance and therefore uh, let me just be sure the signal here is given correctly USD 109 what is that uh, wait a minute what is this signal here 109.008 honestly I forget what I'm typing in my uh, weekly analysis videos 
Oh, okay, so we were waiting. For... Okay, no, no, we have to change the signal. Um, after this breakout candle, I don't think the pair is gonna fall all the way down to this uh, previous level to retest the support level. Most likely, that is our new signal right here, as I mentioned. So let me just fix this one because it's not valid anymore after seeing that bullish breakout candle. So the new one will be uh, 730. 109.730, that's your buy signal for the uh, USD GPY and the uh, take profit level aka sell let me just rephrase that take profit level is gonna be 110.594 let's check now the USD CAD now USD CAD let me just uh, remove all of that uh, the USD CAD I give the signal to start buying it and we can see uh, the candle has reversed exactly, almost, not, not exactly, no, I cannot say exactly, almost at uh, this level, because I, if I'm not mistaken, that was the level I mentioned to start buying the USD CAD, and we can see the market almost reached this level. I'm not really sure if I can take any credit for that, because the market reversed almost three pips uh, before touching this level. Um, maybe like here, I'm not really sure. It's, it's somewhere here, the signal to start buying the USD CAD. However, uh, the signal is still valid because the USD CAD is making a strong reversal right here. We can see on the left that we are having this support level. It's a really strong support level and I don't see how this is going to be breaking out immediately. And therefore we can expect this pair to respect the support level. And we can expect the market to keep re uh, reversing going all the way up until it hit this previous resistance right here. Let me just uh, look uh, again at the chart on daily candles so we can find the actual strong resistance level and we can see it right here we are having a strong key resistance level and therefore we just need to mark this level right here like that now go back to the four hour chart and this is where we can expect the pair to continue its uh, upper momentum and the market seems like it's going to continue flying all the way until it hit that previous resistance. Uh, we are going to send another forecast once we see the market reach this level because it's all depending on the price action. Uh, if it's going to, for example, if it's going to reverse, if it's going to show a price action for the reversal, we can start short the USD CAD. And if there was a bullish breakout candle, we can expect the market to re uh, reverse, retesting the support level and continue going more up so that's why I really cannot say anything until the pair reach this resistance on the level 1.31198 so that's our take profit level if you have any buy order open for the CAD please keep it running we are almost 50 pips away from our target hopefully this is what will gonna happen we can see that we have also here as I said a good resistance level and that resistance is gonna be respected hopefully and if that happened, I will update everyone in another video. Let's take a look at the USDCHF. Now, the USDCHF uh, is not moving as I expected. I thought it is going to be uh, good for the buy right now on this level. However, it just continued falling more down. And I want to say that I am still insist that USDCHF seems to be really good for the buy. And I, do, I don't really want to repeat again what I said in the last video. But all in all, in general, we're having, we're having right here a double bottom and I really don't, sorry, a triple bottom and I really don't think the pair is going to break out from this level. Going to the weekly candles, we can see a really st a strength on the support level right here and right here. It doesn't seem like the USDC chief is able to break out from this level right here. Um, from, my expect from my point of view, USDC chief is going to be ranging for quite uh, until the end of the week I believe the USDC chief is gonna be ranging until the end of the week because right now we are stuck in the middle between a strong support level and also a resistance level right here and USDC chief doesn't seem to be really active about breaking out from this uh, support level therefore I think uh, it's a better idea to just avoid trading the, UC, the USDC chief right now because the pair is ranging on a very strong level of the support right here so 
it's not like uh, playing games here we cannot really predict what will gonna happen as i mentioned the support here is very strong uh, the general analysis says that the USCCHF should be going up so we cannot really decide what will gonna happen until we see a price action breaking out from this uh, support level that's why i really cannot give another forecast for the USCCHF on this current situation i need to see any bearish breakout candle here or any price action for a reversal that's why USCCHF is not really advised to be traded at all at the moment until we see what will gonna happen if it's gonna reverse or break out from this previous support level let's check now what happened with the gold because the gold I think it's uh, really matters for a lot of our followers here now what happened here uh, the gold did not move as I expected I was hoping for uh, a reversal so and this support level is gonna be respected however as we know the gold is not like other uh, forex currencies and there was a reason the market has moved like that if I'm not mistaken this is, that is one of the reasons US reverses China currency manipulator level meaning USA has removed China's name from the list of the countries that manipulate the currency that of course led uh, to some strength to the dollar and that for therefore we can see that the gold has went down however it was just a correction in my opinion and uh, the gold however seems like it's reversing at the moment but i'm not really expecting it to gold uh, sorry the gold to make a strong a strong reversal as expected um, seems like the gold is going more down it seems like the gold is going more down we just need to be sure where can we place our sell order and hopefully if I'm not mistaken at all look at that uh, after breaking from this support level we can look at the left we can see here a really strong resistance level on the four hour chart and we can see that the gold is trying up trying to climb up all the way retesting this previous resistance right here and the climb is happening right now we can see the pair is really active right now it's almost touching this level so I really have to give the sig the sell signal I think it's gonna be late before I release this video uh, sell on 1554.10 seems like really good level to start uh, shorting the oh my god uh, man seems really good level to start shorting the gold 1550.10 actually it's almost uh, there right now that is where we can sh start shorting the gold expect for it to go a little bit against you until this resistance this little bit is almost 60 pips however that is gold that is how it's being traded up but honestly i don't really think it's gonna exceed this resistance level therefore let me change like that so you can start selling the gold on this level 1554 expect for it to go until this next resistance level on 1557 and hopefully it's gonna be really good for short from that point so however i have to post this video really quickly and therefore i have to say i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching